We made it into Moose Camp 2023. My dad, Jake, and we got Owen and my nephew Jesse down there. We uh, barely got the tent set up before this wind, snow, rainstorm came in. So we, we got up super early this morning, got in here, and now uh, I guess we're gonna wait this little storm out. It's still pretty socked in here today. Snowed all night. Got, I don't know, six inches on the ground, four to six. It's hard to tell because it was blowing so hard, but there's snow. Anyways, uh, since it's crappy out, we're going to go get some firewood. And, uh, scope out an area over here. We're, we're planning on trying to drop down. So anyways, what we're trying to do this year is we're going to try to drop down into this drainage, just on the other side of those trees. It heads out that way a couple miles into some uh, areas that we've seen a lot of moose. We haven't really figured out how to get off the hill here because it is so steep. But we haven't also, we haven't really looked much either. But we might look at that later today. Just kind of doing chores around the camp since you can't really hunt. Jake and I dropped off the uh, point here. We're about three quarters of the way down the hill. We've got to start cutting our way down. We're getting kind of an old uh, drainage here. Or water running off right here. But anyways, we're going to continue to cut our way down. Actually, we're just now starting to cut. Hopefully, we'll get down to the bottom. If not, then we know. We move on to somewhere else. Well, this is where we were trying to get to. We got a creek right here, creek right there. That's what we were looking at. And way up there. We worked our way down all that crap. The goal is to get another couple miles that way, but I'm thinking we can either drop in the creek and run it or 
the valley gets pretty wide up here so we can get up on the side here and just skirt the side of the hill trying to get out of these alders anyways that's the plan well it's about 7 30 it's still snowing blowing nasty but we accomplished what we wanted to get done today we made it to the bottom of the hill here actually thinking about setting a camp up off the hill down in the valley to get off this mountain because it's too much snow anyways uh it's chilly here this is what we got rolling here we got the generator going we've got some lights got the diesel for the Crip stove, I'll bring you guys inside so we've got going in there. <laughs> this is cooked at. What's going on in here? Hey man. This is what we got going on in here. Heat. There it is. Little uh, snowman. Pretty uh, pretty soft in all morning, but it's finally clearing up here. We just pulled up there's like a 55 inch bull right there it's 300 yard shot you hit it you got him another wait for him to turn i heard it hit is there another one no nope, that's still him he's facing you now just let them turn. And 
I can feel them right here. I'll do it. Well, let's see what he does here. Just let him. You want him, Jake, too? Yep. You got a perfect shot, hurry up. There you go, Jake. Spined him. Nice job. Now? Nice job. <laughs> Joint venture. Okay, there it is. It's a pretty awesome rack. It's four by four. It's got some awesome drop times on it. But uh, it's 53 inches. Fun times. It's a perfect shot. I mean, it was a, <laughs> we just pulled up. We were gonna actually just looking, we we're gonna look over there and turned around and it was right behind us. Pretty cool.
We got her all hung up. It's an awesome night. It is freaking cold though. Got the heater going in the tent. There's that rack. Do we have nights to cut those fakes up? Well, it's day four. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. We're stuck in the tent again. It's been snowing all morning. There's a couple more inches on the ground. So, uh, it's supposed to burn off here in a couple hours. Hopefully we get out there and do something because it gets pretty old sitting in this tent all day. Well, it's day four. We, uh, Finally cleared up. Actually, the winds quit blowing enough to where we can come out here. It quit snowing, but it's just all fogged in, socked in. So we're gonna go down and work on our trail that we were working on a couple nights ago. Making our trail here. Started up there. That's where our camp is. The blueberries down here are insane. I'm really going to show you this. I mean, they are everywhere. I don't know if I've ever seen this many blueberries before. I mean, that's crazy. Well, the boys just found this guy. So now they're out there looking for the other one. Should be right here somewhere.
we're socked in again today. Spent the first half of the day in the tent. This afternoon, we're gonna go back down in the low country where we were last night. Got a couple, couple more inches of snow last night. But it's supposed to warm up for the next few days, or actually clear up for the next few days. It's gonna be partly sunny for the rest of the trip. Think, what is this, Dad? Day five? Day five, and we've only been able to glass for about three hours. It's been a long trip in the tent. Well, where we just ate lunch a few hours ago was right down there in the bottom of the valley. We just worked our way up this ridge right here. It's pretty brutal. We started right down in that. But it cut our way up the hill. But now we know we can at least get down there if we did see something. We weren't sure if we could uh, get down in the pre previous years.
Well, today we saw our first uh, cow. So far I've seen one cow and one bull. It's day six. Just had a hot dog. video but we pulled up just right below our camp we just crossed the valley from our camp and there's two grizzly bears or at least that's what my dad said they were I thought they were wolves but we only got a quick glance at them through the binos but it sounds like uh, there's a gut pile right below our tent that we didn't know was there because it's been socked in the whole time but uh yeah, two grizzly bears right below our tent, price on the cub, so not gonna shoot them, but that's an awesome sunset. Day seven or eight, can't really remember what day we're on here, but anyways, I think this might be our last day of hunting. We're not seeing much, but uh, last night we seen a couple grizzly bears down here on a gut pile. I'm assuming the guys that were up there when we got here shot one prior to us getting here, so we're gonna run down there and see what that bear's eating on. It's an awesome day out. It's, it's got to be in the 40s, maybe 50s. No wind. Yeah, our goal is to go way back there today. See if there's anything in that country.
working on breaking in the rest of our trail. It's pretty freaking deep up here. I think once we get over this hill though, we're pretty, pretty good. I had to put a set of chains on. Well, it's 8 o'clock. Pretty sure this is going to be our last night hunting. Been sitting here where we've always seen moose for the last couple hours. And we have seen nothing. Heard nothing. Been calling. Normally we get some of the answer back. Not sure what's going on. Two years in a row. This year, all we've seen is one cow and one bull. First year in, in the first hour, I've probably seen five bulls, ten cows, and on that trip, probably seen 30 moose total. Well, we're calling it. We're getting out of here today. We ended up seeing a couple more moose last night. There may have been a bull with it, but then it got dark. And it was way on the other side of those hills over there, so. We're packing our stuff and getting out of here a couple days early. Nice, not supposed to rain. Tomorrow it's supposed to get a little cloudy, so. It's gonna be a good day to try to get out of here. Well, we are all loaded up. We are loaded too. And we got snow, so it's gonna be interesting. We plan on just pulling each other over all the hills, unhooking a trailer, pulling each other. Hopefully it goes smooth.